I'm going to start by going over Absolute Apps and how to use that. Absolute Apps is our school protected app store. You can only download approved apps. Anything that's in Absolute Apps is free for you to download. So you're going to open Absolute Apps first. The icon looks like this. On the bottom row, one of the buttons says App Store. Again, this is the school protected app store, so it's okay to open. You're going to scroll down to find the app you want to download. It's in alphabetical order. And then you click to install. You may have to wait a few minutes for it to show on your home screen. So when you're in Absolute Apps, you're going to click on the App Store. When you install an app, the regular App Store will pop up on your screen for a few minutes. But then it will go away. So you don't need to get worried that the App Store is popping up because it is going to go away later. The next thing I want to show you guys how to do is check the storage that you're using on your iPad. So you guys have a certain amount of storage that you use and everything that you put on there takes that up. So the apps that you have, the photos you have, the videos you have, the files you have all take up space on your iPad. And so we're going to check, I'm going to show you how to check how much you're using and how to delete some of the things to get rid of it. So you go to your settings, click on general, and then on usage, and that's going to show you how much storage you're using. And you're able to see how much available storage is left. If you click on manage storage, it will show you how much each app is taking, how much space it's taking up. And the first thing you want to do is delete photos. If you're getting close to that, you want to delete photos. So you're going to start with general. So go to settings, go to general, and then click on usage. When you click on usage, you'll see this menu. So on my iPad, I've used nine gigabytes of storage and I have three gigabytes available. And if I wanted to see how it's being used, I'm going to click manage storage. And this shows me what apps are using how much storage. So it's going to start up at the top with the biggest and then work its way down. So you can see I have a half megabyte of photos and photos. So I should probably delete some of those to make that go down. And then I have some apps that are fairly large. So the first thing you always want to do is make sure that you clear out some of these photos and cam or photos first. Then if you're still running out of room, um, if there's some apps you don't use, like I know some of you have downloaded the Grey's Anatomy app, which is really huge and takes up a lot of space, and you're not going to use that in science class, you can delete that but you definitely don't want to delete apps that teachers are having you use. The last thing we're going to do is learn how to use Socrative. Socrative is an app that lets us do some quick assessment. It's similar to Kahoot where you're taking an online quiz and you're competing with other people in the class. We're going to use it today as a review for the quiz that we're having next week. So I want you to open Socrative. It looks like this. It's blue and it says student. You're going to enter the room code to join my classroom, which is NixMM. Then you enter your first and last name. And you are trying to um, compete with your team. It's called Space Race. So you and your team are trying to get your rocket to the end the fastest. So you want to be fast, but you also want to be correct. Because if you answer a question wrong, you're not going to move your rocket ahead. At the end of the hour, you want to make sure that you log out. So this is what you'll see when you open it up. You need to join my room, NixMM. Once you put that in correctly, you're going to click Join Room. It's going to prompt you to put in your name, so just put in your first and last name. When you finish that, you're going to click Done. It's going to automatically open you up into the quiz that I've assigned. So again, it tells you up here in the corner what team you're on. So you can look up on the board and see your team's progress. It's just done randomly, so it may not be people at your table. It could be anyone in the room. You are going to try and select the answer as quickly as you can and then hit submit. And it'll tell you right away whether you got the question right or wrong. And these questions are very similar to what you will see on your quiz next week, so it's going to be really helpful practice for you.